Hello, my name is Dwayne Jackson, your host. In this presentation, I'll help you understand DNA testing for genealogy research. Lately, there's been a lot of discussion about DNA testing and genealogy research. You may recall that this method of research is often referred to as genetic genealogy. In 2012, Rachel Swarns of the New York Times wrote an article called Meet Your Cousin, the First Lady, a Family Story Long Hidden. This article described a family connection between Michelle Obama and Joanne Tribble, a white lady and retired bookkeeper from Atlanta, Georgia. The article explained the DNA connection between the white families of Joanne Tribble and the black families of Michelle Obama, but it didn't really explain how DNA was used to make this connection. This presentation is for new and veteran genealogists who want a better understanding of how to use DNA testing for their research. In this presentation, I'll cover the three most popular categories of DNA testing, and I'll explain how DNA testing connected the families of Mrs. Obama and Mrs. Tribble. So let's get started. First, there are autosomal DNA tests that provide a breakdown of all the ethnic populations that make up your DNA. Next, there are those that test for the mitochondrial DNA. The important thing for you to know about mitochondrial DNA is that it's the type of DNA used to check your mother's direct female lineage. The third and last type of DNA test that we'll discuss today is the type that checks for your Y DNA. This type of DNA is used to trace your father's direct male lineage. Now, let me explain the difference between mitochondrial DNA and Y DNA. Women only inherit and pass down mitochondrial DNA. Men inherit both Y DNA and mitochondrial DNA, but men only pass down Y DNA to their male children. For example, the mitochondrial DNA inside me came from my mom. My mom inherited a copy of this same mitochondrial DNA from her mother. My mom's grandmother got her mitochondrial DNA from her mother. I can keep going on like this for my mom's direct female lineage for hundreds and thousands of years. The way genetics work, I can't pass down my mitochondrial DNA to my children, but I can pass down the Y DNA that's inside me to my sons. Mitochondrial or Y DNA test results only provides information on one direct lineage. Autosomal DNA testing used for determining ethnic populations provides results from across all of your lineages. For example, we all have 16 great-great-grandparents. Well, I have inherited unique DNA from all 16 of my great-great-grandparents, and so have you. Autosomal DNA tests provide results from all 16 lineages, not just the one lineage as seen with mitochondrial or Y-DNA. In the New York Times article, Mrs. Obama and Mrs. Tribble had a common ancestor named Henry Wells Shield. What DNA test do you think was used to confirm their connection with Henry Shields? The answer is those types used for Y DNA testing. Remember, women inherit mitochondrial DNA only from their mothers, and men inherit Y DNA only from their fathers. So why wasn't the answer to the question mitochondrial DNA? Well, don't let the fact that Mrs. Obama and Mrs. Tribble are women confuse you. Neither one of them have Y DNA. Their ancestor, Henry Shields, however, is a man and he only passed down Y DNA. So how was this connection made? The researchers had to have gotten a male relative of Mrs. Obama and Mrs. Tribble to take the DNA test. So that's how the DNA connection was made between the two families. Well, I hope this topic of conversation was as interesting for you as it was for me. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for viewing and much success to your genealogy research.